Come on, y'all. Boots. EJ! <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people into... I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. So, we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. There's that girl I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean... Say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? I 
Thank wanna you. see something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. Ten. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry too. What is this? Our graveyard. And you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlon. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. <laughs> Be careful. He bites. <laughs> Don't worry about Ruby. From what I hear, it was self-defense. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> Come on! Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. 
time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh... Ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? Yeah, just that. Just friends. Mm, okay. Ha, uh, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had, like, millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Victory Violent. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? 
That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> well, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey! She wanted me to ask. Yes. Go on. It was a yes or no question. I answered it. Drop it, Lewis. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Be human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. 